Hey, salutation, it's Davey, D-A-V. Why? It's the 10th video, so it's been 10 weeks that we're boosting up your knowledge using facts related to the days that we are. Thank you so much to Rainbow Al and Scam Lackley for the subscribe. If you are new around here and want to have the power of knowledge, hit that subscribe button. It's your 10th week of facts and it starts now. If I say wiki, anyone knows what I'm talking about? Then if I say wiki wiki, oh yes, me. I went in Honolulu last year and Wiki Wiki was actually the name of the bus shuttle at the airport. Is it what you're on about? Exactly. And in the Hawaiian language, Wiki means quick and Wiki Wiki means very quick. Then Wiki Wiki, tell us the link with today's date. Well, it's today, in 1994, that the world's first Wiki was launched. Wiki what? Let me explain. Ward launched the first wiki site. Originally, he wanted to call it Quick Web, but inspired by the Hawaiian bus shuttle, he called it Wiki Wiki Web. And the concept was quite simple. He wanted the content of the site to be quickly editable by the users directly from the web page. And the most famous one now launched in 2001 is Wikipedia. It's even the fifth most famous website on the planet. Let's speak about shoelaces. The oldest shoe ever discovered is the irony one in 2008. It's established to be 5,500 years old. And as you can see, it has shoelaces. A thing that makes the shoelaces the way we know them today is the aglet. It could be the greatest invention of all time is that little piece at the end of the shoelaces. It's preventing the cord from unraveling and it's easier to feed it through the eyelet. Harvey is credited to have invented it. And it's today, the 27th of March in 1790, he patented the whole thing. He would have made more than $2.5 million on it. Not bad. And here we go. Okay, and what now? Are you going to show us how you tie your shoes? Actually, yes. And now I'm going to have an ice cream and not any type of ice cream as today it's eat an Eskimo by day. It all started in 1920. A kid was in the confectionery mm. store and he couldn't decide whether to spend his mm. money on ice cream or chocolate bar. That was the original inspiration for Chris, the shop owner, and after a few experimentations, he managed to add here melted chocolate to bricks of ice cream. He began to sell his invention under the name of Ice Cream Bars, an instant hit. In 1921, he secured a deal with a chocolate producer to mass produce it, but under a new trademark name. It's when Eskimo Pie was born. A fact you can share while refreshing yourself, enjoying the spring weather and while subscribing to my channel. Thank you. You're welcome. And now I'm going to have a drink. And not any type of drink. The world's most famous one, Coca-Cola. I don't want to sound clever, but actually the world's most famous drink after water, it's tea. Okay, then the world's most famous soft drink. That's correct. It's anyways my favorite drink. I love it so much that I could shower with it. Ah, after the success of his cocaine cocktail called the Permanton French One Coca, John had to make a non-alcoholic version of it. And it's today, the 29th of March, 1886, that John, without knowing, made history by making the first ever batch of Coca-Cola. Oh, he must have been so tasty. I love so much this drink that I could wash my clothes in it. The name comes from the two main ingredients, coca leaf and cola nuts. His bookkeeper came up with a spelling and the writing design that we all know today. He suggested the misspelling as he thought using the C twice would look better. Oh, I love so much Coca-Cola that I could wash the toilet with it. Coca-Cola went on sale for the first time the 8th of May 1886 and it was sold 5 cents per glass. The first year, only 9 servings were sold each day. Now, it's more than 1.9 billion servings each day in more than 200 countries. A success that John couldn't see as he died in 1888. I love so much Coca-Cola that I could drink it. Today is the 130th birthday of the world-famous symbol of France, the Eiffel Tower. 
inaugurated today, the 31st of March in 1889. It was built as an entrance for the World Fair of 1889. It was designed by Gustave Eiffel Engineering Company and it was built in only two years, two months and five days. It was the tallest man-made structure in the world until the Chrysler Building was built in New York City in 1930. However, with the addition of an antenna, the Eiffel Tower grew 5 meters higher than the Chrysler in 1957. The original color of the Iron Lady, like some French like to call her, was red. She has since been painted 18 times and 60 tons of paint is needed for the job. This wonderful metal erection is also used for radio and television transmissions. But of course, it's mainly a tourist attraction. There is 7 million visitors a year. It will cost you a long wait on the ground and 25 euro 50 to go to the top. Thank you for watching. Ciao.